Well, this week will mark 17 years since a Tampa woman disappeared from Orlando and hasn't been heard from since. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers explains why her family has new hope that she'll be found. It's a mystery close to two decades in the making. I think of her all the time. On January 24th, 2006, 24 year old Jennifer Kesty disappeared in Orlando, seemingly without a trace. Every single second of every single day to us is frantic because we need to find her. Kessie was reported missing when she didn't show up for work. Two days later, her black Chevy Malibu was discovered outside of a different condo building than where she lived, about a mile away. It was like being hit with a ton of bricks. Surveillance video showed somebody parking Kessie's car there, but the person's face was blocked by a fence post. Kessie was nowhere to be found. We cannot see that person's face ever in anything that we have. Now the case is in the hands of cold case investigators with the FDLE. In a January 20th post on the Find Jennifer Kessie Facebook page, the family say they feel the best opportunity for her to be found is now. They have always maintained they will never stop searching. And we're not going to stop until we take our last breath or she comes home to us for the good or the bad. Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay. Jennifer's family has long accused the Orlando Police Department of mishandling the investigation. The FDLE says they will go back to 2006 and review all of the evidence from the very beginning.